So let's start off with our first question from Vin. And Vin asks about a piece of exercise equipment that has in different ways kind of come and gone throughout my whole lifting career. But the quality is so much better now, it's it's a lot easier to use them. So Vin asks this, what is your opinion on var variable resistance and high quality latex bands? It seems logical and joint saving. Without naming a particular product, it seems a safe and effective strength training choice. However, there have many, been many home gyms over the years using this idea that have come and gone. If this was the best system, why haven't the pros used it? Well, okay, so let's separate first. We'll separate chains versus bands. Uh, I said it, it's funny you, you asked this because this morning in the gym, I was talking with TJ. He's my good friend from Louisiana, a uh, great man. And we were talking, we talked about chains. And I said, you know, if I could do it all over again, every press, every squat, and most of my deadlift variations, uh, chains don't always work great with deadlifts because the chain will pool underneath the, the, the weight. And it just gets a little sketchy. I mean, you can work around it and there's ways, but it's just hard. I would do every press, squat, and deadlift with chains my whole career. Um, and my thrower is using chains a lot more than ever now. Uh, yesterday, it was a hard workout with all chains. The nice thing about chains is I never have to say down slow, up fast, down slow, up fast, because the chains or the bands force the athlete to do that because as they get, as the chain comes off the ground, it gets heavier. And of course, with the bands, as you stretch them, they get harder. So let me just say this. If you're putting them on barbells, I like chains better than bands. My The reason I like bands so much, and I have, I think, boy, I don't know of a band I don't have. So I like mini bands a lot. So if you don't mind, I'm going to go through. So you put mini bands around your socks. And uh, really, all you have to do is just go for a walk, trying to push your heels as far apart as you can. I joke, uh, I have about a 400 meter uh, block here. And I always tell people the first time, okay, we're going to go around the block once. And you know, we get about, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 feet, you know, whatever. And I get these looks like, are you kidding me? Uh, they're a great exercise. I like the big heavy. I have those big heavy Dynamax bands. I pretty much think I got them from Perform Better. And I use those on the hip thrust. So mini bands for all kinds of hip work. Uh, as I, I think is wonderful for hip replacement work, uh, you know, total hip replacements. Uh, probably there'd be value in any, anybody who's got knee issues too. There's something, there's something good about that strength. Um, yeah, my, my wheels feel better after I do those. I'm pumped, but I feel better. The Dynamac band, bands, my favorite thing to do with them is hip thrust. I, I have two kinds of hip thrust machines, um, both from Brett. And I have the real big one that Sorenex made. And I use bands on that because I like bands for hip thrust, not not barbells. It's a personal thing. Uh, and, and, and I like them a lot. Now, those smaller bands, you know, the, the kind of, they're not mini bands and they're not those massive hip thrust bands. Those can be great for all kinds of rehab. In fact, you can already see I'm doing this exercise as I'm starting to explain it. Uh, when I was young, we did a lot of pull aparts. Um, they're great. I also like, and I, I, is the bands that have handles on both ends. The, instead of being flat bands or tubular, uh, I use those for curls, tricep extensions, uh, and this weird little clean and jerk, uh, clean and press. I'm sorry. You, you, you don't really clean it appropriately because it does, it does some weird things, but you get in this position and then you press and you get that great variable resistance. A light, band can really be hard because when it gets to here, it's six feet long. And when it gets to here, it's maybe seven. And so that band is really stretching, putting a lot of pressure, just standing in place with, you know, so I'm stepping on the black band that I have and I press it overhead and I just stand there um, with the weight, pulling it down and that, you know, that weirdness of it. I think stre uh, stre uh, stre uh, strengthens that whole chain up and down. Um, the issue, of course, is it's they're not a one-stop option. You'll notice I also talked about chains. I know a lot of good lifters put bands on barbells. Uh, I put bands on kettlebells to do all kinds of fun things. 
Generally though, I'd much rather just use chains when I'm with barbells. Um, and then I use the bands exactly the way I just told you. I think bands have great value. Even, I mean, I don't know what a mini band costs. I mean, a dollar or something like that. It's, it's nothing. Uh, I get the little package with all the colored ones and we go through those. They break. Um, and actually it's because of shoes. Uh, putting them on uh, tends to cut them a little bit. But the mini band is a buck and I think you get great value out of it. The, the ones with the, um, the handles on it, I thought for a while I would be able to travel with it, but frankly, it's a little too big for my uses. Even when I wrap them up, they're still, I mean, it's, it's a fair size. I only travel with one bag when I travel and that's a, that's a, that's a whole pair of shoes, socks and a bunch of other stuff. So I travel with the mini band and a glute loop. Um, uh, and then I just do whatever I can do, you know, if at a hotel gym or at the gyms I'm teaching at. So yeah, I like them a lot. Um, you know, I could certainly, if, if you ever wanted more information, Vin, maybe I could even do a little tutorial about how I use them. But the, the hardest thing is that it's so obvious when you see it, you're like, oh, okay, I got it. But it, it is fun. Um, the mini band walk, you know, if you just want to ruin your day, I, it, it doesn't, it's, it's wonderful, but it really does some marvels for those that the top of the glutes, uh, and, if you have any kind of lower body issues, injuries, long-term injuries, uh, it does really seem to kind of <laughs> bathe the region in lactic acid or whatever. And it, and it makes you feel good uh, once you take them off and sit down. So, thank you. Good question, Vin, and I hope it helped.